A column in today's Washington Post generated a host of criticism and controversy, and in a second you'll see why. But it also got us thinking about how different people view things in our nation so differently. Now, a column by Richard Cohen, it was supposed to be about, be about Chris Christie and his Tea Party problem, but that's not what got so many people just not only so mad, but they did a double take here. This guy's not known as a lunatic, yeah. but when you hear the words, you're like, what? I certainly did a double take this morning in our editorial meeting. I was like, I, I couldn't believe what I was reading. But Rich, what got people so hot was a reference to the family of New York City Mayor-elect Bill de Blasio and interracial couples in general. Here's the key paragraph from Cohen, quote, Today's GOP is not racist, as Harry Belafonte alleged about the Tea Party, but it is deeply troubled about the expansion of government, about immigration, about secularism, about the mainstreaming of what used to be the avant-garde. And then here's the big line. People with conventional views, Cohen continued, must repress a gag reflex when considering the mayor-elect of New York, a white man married to a black woman and with two biracial children. Should I mention, he continued, that Bill de Blasio's wife, Shirlene McRae, used to be a lesbian. This family represents the cultural changes that have enveloped parts, but not all of America. To cultural conservatives, this doesn't look like their country at all. Rich? Their country. See, for me, with all the inflammatory stuff, their country is really what hit. And you always say, Dominic, and, and I'll be honest, sometimes I think that, you know, we'll take an idiot, we'll say something, and you'll extrapolate and apply it to too many people. I don't know what the number is. I don't want to waste time with guessing what the percentage of people who feel the way he does. This is a column in the Washington Post. And when a guy says their country, and he looks at, in this case, a biracial couple here, I think more people than I want to admit feel, they don't want to say this out loud like this idiot, but they feel down deep, it just doesn't feel right or look right. Uh, but I'm surprised uh, it's coming at the same time we see choose advances in gay marriage, well, a lot of social issues that there's more of an acceptance right now, and people will say publicly accept something instead of just privately saying, I can't say it publicly, but I'm really with you. And then we get this. Um, what do you make of it? I think, honestly, that um, maybe... 65 to Here 70 percent. I knew it was going to go with the percent. Yeah. 65 to 70 percent of Americans feel exactly the way that columnist expressed. Um, no way. I, I really feel that. I really feel objectively that the reason why Obama is having such a hard time is the color of his skin. That they will not give him. They don't want him to have any accomplishments I, because I, I he think, will go I down. Agree with that. Usually, I, a subconsciously, people, uh, opponents of the president. Um, have as big a problem with it. Do you think it's like, they say, hey. I think it's a combination of the two. When you put them together, the percentages add up to what Dominic said exactly. And as a matter of fact, I was thinking the same thing. And when I looked, when I looked personally at the de Blasio family, I said, this transcends race, this transcends everything. The way I used to think about the president is like, he transcends race, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but then I was wrong. I was entirely wrong with the president. It is, he's a black president and some people do not like that. Okay, and some people oppose him for that very reason, whether it be something you know, you know, ingrained in them or something that they're outwardly you know outspoken about. But I think that's the way people will think about our mayor as well. Maybe I'm naive, Andrew, but don't you think this guy wasn't speaking for most Americans? I mean, uh, most I, white Americans. You really think people? I, I think a we tend to be in a little bit more of a bubble because we're in the Northeast mm -hmm. and and we're in a metropolitan area. You talked about the difference between acceptance of same-sex marriage. It's hard to it's hard to be anywhere in America and not know somebody who's gay. Uh, gay is in your family. Gay is down the street. Gay is everywhere. Uh, it's just more out and in your face than than we'd experienced before. But you can inoculate yourself pretty well and not come across a, a black person if if you want to. You can certainly avoid white people. Can certainly avoid having black friends. Uh, and, and for black family members, it, it doesn't come as close. Race doesn't come as close to people as, as I think but homosexuality does. Uh, listen. And, and that's one of the reasons Hollywood why Hollywood is not reflective of mainstream America, but the idea of having a biracial couple is not a taboo anymore. No, but it's Where scary. gay was. It, it, I it mean, there's a generational difference, and I think it scares people. Uh, I think, I mean, black culture is the dominant pop culture in the country right now, uh, and I think that scares older Americans to a certain degree. They see... You know, okay, but the you music just said, stars, the I see agree the, with the you. Actors Older and Americans in a certain generation looks at the de Blasio family, they don't know what to make of it, okay? The girl with the flowers in the head, the kid with the fro, the, well, what's going on here, okay? But 
you you guys made a number and you both agreed to it. And by the way, do you feel that same number applies to the black community when they look at that? Do they have a problem with it? Uh, the truth is, in the black community, they're coming along slowly as a, as it relates to the Because you overwhelmingly got black support in the city. Right. He, it's... <clears throat> Uh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. No, Richard. it's not a but black thing. Black black people look at this and they don't. I don't think they have. I don't think they're lumped into that. Into that. No, no, no. Statistic. That's not what I'm saying at all. No, and I, I'm just. You know, I, I just think the statistic is relates to people that are uncomfortable with a biracial marriage or 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 a or a president who's black. This just it doesn't make sense to them. But the but same way as gays don't argument, make sense. We to never would have had a black president. But the okay? gays don't make sense Twice. to these people either. Okay, but you know what? But. But this candidate transcends race, and he was a very special candidate. I don't think we'll see another Barack Obama who can almost finesse okay. in and out of black Time communities. Out those and Four and years later, with all the finessing, they had a chance to do a do-over, and they still voted him in. Right, they still voted him in, but those are not the people that are running Congress. <laughs> the people that are running Congress, the Republicans on the far right, they have said, and you can't ask, don't, don't, don't believe me. Go to any black shop in America, any barber shop, and ask them, is Congress fair to the first black president? Well, and see what they tell you. You're not going on a limb there, Dominic. <laughs> uh, you know, but I think they're selling the American public short. I just think this is one idiot who doesn't speak just for himself. But I didn't speak for most Americans when he sees that family and says, what the heck is this? Oh, you got to get out of New York. Yeah, you got to get out of New York. You really do. There are some haters out there. Uh, okay, Complete but haters. they don't make up two-thirds of America. Uh, they're Using scary group, I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> but Richard, you I mean and you've traveled the world. Yeah. You know you know in certain oh. places in Iowa, they don't even see people who look like me. Trust me, unless they're on television. Some idiots around. We don't have to go too far from the studio <laughs> to find this is true. I'm just saying <laughs> this is I don't true. think there are as many as you guys think. All right. RFL will be right right back after this.